What up, family? Now, we know it was a long day in hip-hop when the cookie shop incident went down with Dolph. I mean, it was surprising to even see Dolph moving around like that in Memphis just so freely because if you can remember, fam, you know, he was showing on his social media that he was at a gas station even before he made it to the cookie shop, you know, and I know he felt like that everybody loved him in this area, but, you know, it bees like that when it come to hip-hop artists not realizing that the idolization of them is at an all-time high. Like, people look at them like gods. In the same way when they come to a god, you're going to have people that want to take you out the game that hate you, that hate you. They crucified Jesus Christ, man. Now, when it come to Dolph's situation, it's a lot of people around Memphis that do not care about Dolph family. They don't care about his kids. They don't care about his legacy. They don't care about nothing that he got going on. And that's how much violence and ignorance in our community fam when it come to not forgiving people even when they dead. Just think about this, man. Think about the mind frame of somebody that speak on the dead, even if it's your art, or just do anything towards the dead because that's something we all got in common. So that individual got to think he'll God and his day is coming. That's just a big fact. Because it's saying, and I'm not trying to take it there, but it's saying the, the good book, man, don't worship no other false gods. And these dudes is worshiping false idols, whether if it's their big homeboy or a rapper. Now, Cam the artist is a Memphis artist. You know, he do a lot of uh, pains and different stuff. And he did one for Dog Found, a memorial. And they come vandalized it, messed it up. He been receiving threats, fam, on his life just for doing pains of Dolph. Now, when I got with wind of this information, and this artist, fam, out in Memphis is a, a well-known artist, and he do a lot of more artists you know, uh, different stuff like what he's doing for Dolph, and he do a lot of facial paintings and different stuff like that. So he's well known. But he went on to say himself that he not, he protected by God, and he not going to stop doing what he's doing or degrade his work just because of what people feel about what he's doing by Dolph. Now, we know Dolph's been gone a little minute now, right? We also know that that man still have family that love him. Even though, see, the thing about life, man, you're not really living until you're living for other people. Because if you're living in your own selfish box, especially the box to where you would speak on the dead, vandalize the dead memorial, and so that means you got disregard for kids itself. See, it's not Bob Dolph, it's about his kids, bro. But I'm trying to get uh, y'all to see. So I don't want to be a, around nobody that ain't got no regards for kids or nothing like that, fam. And I don't care how gangster he talk. Because this situation, and they threatening this man for doing something positive in South Memphis for the community, and they threatening this man and his family, fam. And y'all idolizing these fake gangsters out here in the streets because everybody got a death date, fam. That's something we all got in common, homie. And it's going to be one day, the same ones that's talking on the dead, doing these type of things, man, that cancer, whatever, will hit your body, them sickness, man. Or stuff will start happening with your children that you don't like. Fam, whatever you put in this game is what you're going to get out the game, whether it's sooner or later. 
And if you got anybody out there, fam, that have no regards of kids getting shot, no regards of of, 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 of mothers and fathers that's, that's dead and, and their kids still living, and you hanging around these type of people and running right a vibration in your life like it is, fam. Life is all about vibes, and I'm speaking from experience because I done been there, fam. And I fought karma for like 15 years just coming up out of it, fam, because I gave it to God. Some of y'all so gangster you're going to die like that. Some of y'all can even surf and don't even know it. Never been out the hood. We don't know. You don't know what your other talent is. <laughs> right, baby? You, you feel me? The only thing we know is the hood, fam. And until we start surfing and doing something else, we might find out something different about ourselves. But I will keep y'all updated, man, on this situation when it comes to dogs. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.